everybody. This is Jackie from Motherwise, and I teach mothers and others how to get dinner on the table without drama. Today our topic is meal prepping 101. I'm going to teach you how to get started with meal prepping. You may have seen those videos or pictures of people making lots of the same meal all in these little cute little containers that's not exactly the kind of meal prepping I do or that a family does the kind of meal prepping I do is working ahead of my meals so that at meal time I'm not scrambling around trying to get everything done so I do as much as possible ahead of time it's all about rearranging when you do your cooking. If you work, you can start in the morning. You could do some things ahead, like cook your ground beef or chop up your veggies. You can make a salad or a soup ahead of time and keep it in the refrigerator. These are the kind of things that I do ahead. So the most important thing about meal prepping is meal planning. It's hard to know what you can do ahead of time when you don't know what's for dinner tonight or tomorrow night or the next night. But if you have a meal plan and you have your meals scheduled out, then you can decide what you can do ahead of time for those meals the next day. For today's meal, I have a few things I'm going to do. Yesterday I was busy, but today I have time. I have a few things to do for tomorrow's meal. Now, tomorrow all day I'm going to be busy. So then for Friday, I have a couple of things to do for Friday. Friday, I am not busy, so I have a lot, a long list of things to do. And Saturday, my son is coming over, and he loves cod cakes, and so I want those done ahead of time and only have to prepare a few vegetables for that dinner and fry up the cod cakes because I want to spend that time with him instead of cooking. So make sure you have a meal plan. Go through that meal plan and make a list of the things that you don't have. You might want to gather that food together for each meal. I like to do that. So you can go through your recipe and you can write down all the things that you do need or that you haven't found. Let's say you don't know where the garlic salt is. Well, you need to make sure that you have that because if it's important for your dish and things like herbs and spices flavor your dish, and so those are incredibly important to the flavor of your dinner. So list everything that you don't have for your grocery list. If you don't go through your recipes, and list all your ingredients and make sure that you have them. Pull them out and set them aside because you're going to be needing them this week anyway. So pull them out, set them aside, and if there's something that you don't have, put it on your grocery list. That way, at the last minute, you're not running out to the grocery store. It's not efficient for you even if you do live in town because you're having to get out and go at dinner time. So if you want to meal prep, which is an incredible time saver, gather your ingredients ahead of time. Make sure that you have everything you need. So what kind of things can you prep? Well, today I'm having ground beef and cauliflower casserole. So I'm going to brown my ground beef and onions and garlic. I'm going to cut up my cauliflower into florets. And then half of the work will already be done. Tomorrow, my day is busy. All day. My shrimp and crab ravioli will be thawed because I'm going to take it out today. And I will need a green salad, which I'm going to make today. So that tomorrow, when I'm busy, I don't have to do it. All that will need to be done is my raviolis will need to be baked. And the sauce warmed. 
Friday, I'm having my fabulous chicken fajitas from the freezer. You can find that recipe above. So those things will have to be pulled out of the freezer. And I'll need some Spanish rice, some guacamole, and some refried beans. Well, my refried beans come from a can. Just because I happened to come up upon a great deal, and so I bought them. But my Spanish rice, I can go ahead and make the rice the day before. The guacamole probably needs to be made that day. That way it doesn't turn brown. I'm going to make it probably 30 minutes before I start baking my dinner. On Saturday, my other son is coming over, and we're going to be having his favorite, cod cakes. So on Friday, I need to thaw out my cod first thing in the morning. Then it needs to be cooked in water on the stove. I'll need to chop up some other ingredients. They'll need to be assembled and put in the refrigerator. And there they will wait for me until Saturday to cook. He's also requested potatoes, which I will chop and have and sitting in water in the refrigerator waiting. That way I can spend more time with him when he comes. If you work all day and you don't have time for prepping, well, let me tell you, if you will prep ahead the night before. So either as you're putting together your dinner for the this evening or afterwards, go ahead and start. You can brown that ground beef in the oven. You don't have to stand over it. You can have the kids chop a few vegetables. It's important for them to learn too. Get up a few minutes early in the morning. And while your coffee is brewing or your tea, chop up a salad for that evening's dinner. It's all about rearranging your food preparation to a more convenient time. 5.30 is an incredibly inconvenient time to just begin cooking when it's going to take you an hour or more to cook. My cod cakes take a long time. So instead of spending that time when I'm with my son, I'm going to do them the day before. When I have time. If you find that you have just a little time each night, then try freezer cooking. You could check out my playlist on freezer cooking for more ideas about freezer meals. So instead of making one meal for tonight, you make two meals or three meals or four meals. It only takes a few more minutes for each meal. Instead of browning one pound of ground beef, you can brown five pounds of ground beef at the same time. If you don't want to do it in a pot, Put it in the oven to bake, 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Are you having sautéed cabbage one night? Why not take the rest of the cabbage and make some coleslaw, and then whatever's left over, then do some boiled cabbage with some salt and butter. Those things will stay in the refrigerator for several days. If you're making broccoli, then take the broccoli stalk and make broccoli salad. Try to find some ways that you can use your vegetables and prep them all at the same time. So if you have your cabbage out and you're slicing it for your cabbage steaks, why not go ahead and finish chopping for your boiled cabbage and your coleslaw? That will save a few minutes. Do as much as you can ahead of time. This saves a lot of time, precious time, when everybody's hungry and it's time to eat. If you're having trouble with knowing what's for dinner, then you need a meal plan. Check out my Dinners on the Table program. You'll get a meal planner and all the instructions you need to create a great meal plan for a week. You'll get everything you need to be able to get dinner on the table. 
If you have problems knowing what's for dinner, then check out my Dinners on the Table program. You'll get the instruction you need, plus a meal planner. It's a great investment to solve your dinner dilemmas. This is Jackie from Otherwise, and remember, dinner's at six.